Hey everybody, welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure, I'm here at the Calvary Cemetery in Youngstown, Ohio. And today I will be visiting the final resting place of Michael Patrick Bylan. Now that name might not sound familiar to you. That's because he was an extra in the movie E.T., the extraterrestrial. That's right, he was a stuntman. He used the suit portraying E.T. and we're gonna see where he is laid to rest at and talk a little bit about his life. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I read online that he's laid to rest in section 46. Now right in front of me is section 46 and what you want to do if you want to come up here and visit find the chapel. That is where he is laid to rest next to, and we're gonna walk up here. We're gonna count nine rows back, and he is laid to rest in between his mother and father here at the cemetery. And we should be coming up on it here in just a moment. Oh, here it is. And here we are. Michael Patrick Bylan, 1947 to 1983. Thy will be done. Here's his mother, Esther, 1923 to 2006. His father, who is a U.S. veteran, Michael Bylan, 1921 to 2010. I love that somebody left a little tiny E.T. wind-up toy here. And what's really cool about this is a friend of mine just told me that he was here not too long ago. And he left his sticker, Launch Ramp Productions. Go check out his YouTube channel. Michael Patrick Bylan, also known as Little Pat, was born August 29th, 1947 of Youngstown, Ohio. His parents I had mentioned before, Esther and Michael Bylan. He stood two feet, 10 inches as an adult. He attended Ursuline High School in Youngstown, Ohio, and graduated from Youngstown State University School of Speech and Drama. He once described himself as a starving actor because he appeared in various commercials and was hired for promotional events. While attending the Little People of America convention in 1979, he was seen by producer Steve Rash and director Fred Bauer, who were looking for cast members for the upcoming Chevy Chase comedy under the rainbow over 400 attendees showed up and michael was among the 150 selected to appear in the film he was working as a dispatcher and took a leave of absence to go to hollywood to begin his new role he worked with actors such as chevy chase carrie fisher and eve arden he once said in a newspaper interview when a star like chevy chase sees you after a scene and says it was hilarious as you watch him practically fall out of his seat, it makes you feel good. Bylan's rise to stardom came of no surprise when he took on the role of E.T. Long before CGI, we had awesome things called animatronics and or practical effects. Being that Michael was only two feet, 10 inches, he was able to fit inside of the $1.5 million E.T. suit. He was selected to operate one of the four suits made for production. The puppets were constructed of fiberglass, polyurethane, and foam rubber. Each were designed for different functions. One of the suits contained mechanical controls for large body movements, and one was operated by cables. The second had electronic controls, and Bylan operated the fourth suit that was needed for lurching and or walking scenes. So whenever you see E.T. walking, that's Michael. He had to operate the suit for five months and it weighed 40 pounds, nearly as much as him. 
Then, after production, Frank Skidmore, a spokesperson for Universal Studios, confirmed that Michael played the alien in E.T. through most of the film. He said, Pat did majority of the movie. Also, he appeared at the Hollywood Bowl that summer. And then director Steven Spielberg called Michael E.T.'s biggest helper. Aside from acting, Michael was passionate about his ethnic heritage. He once hosted a Ukrainian radio hour on WKTL-FM radio station. It was based in Struthers, Ohio, part of the Youngstown area. He was also active in the St. Anne's Ukrainian Catholic Church in Austintown, Ohio. He taught Sunday school and was also a member of the UNA Branch 119. He was also a basketball coach and a bouncer at one point in time. Unfortunately, Michael passed away at the age of 35, January 27, 1983, in his home around 1 o'clock a.m. He had complications from a blood infection after a bout of pneumonia. It does look like people have been here recently. These flowers are pretty new. Right here to my right, the E.T. figure and my friend's sticker. And nothing on either of his parents' headstone here, but there is a sticker on his father's that says U.S. Veteran. I'm not entirely sure how or where or what branch of the military he served, but, you know, thank you for your service. I'll always recognize anyone that's been in the military for their service. I'll be honest with you, I had no idea that there was somebody inside of the E.T. suit in the film. I just thought it was all all animatronics crazy the more you do this the more you learn crazy but cool things very very interesting it's a nice quiet cemetery out here and it's crazy because it's pretty much like right in the middle of town and right off a busy intersection but i'm gonna walk over here to this statue to my left and see what it is because it's kind of caught my eye. Not entirely sure what it is till we get up on it. Like somebody holding something or holding somebody. Whatever it is, it's really nice. Don't really know the significance behind this, but pretty cool. I mean, there's no plaque or no explanation about what it is. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on the final resting place of actor Michael Patrick Bylan. His final resting place here at the Calvary Cemetery in Youngstown, Ohio. And I hope you guys learned something today. I know I sure did. Crazy to think about, but E.T. is such a classic movie. One of Steven Spielberg's greatest achievements, greatest films. Personally, I would take a little E.T. any day over pretty much any other kind of extraterrestrial I do believe on a personal level that there is some form of life form beyond our existence here on Earth. Just my humble opinion. I'm not saying it's actually true. It kind of goes without saying with this current situation that I'm at. But anyway, like, subscribe, comment, share, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time on Jordan's Film Quest.